254 and Sauti Yawanjiku. And to kick us off, I would like to invite an activist, Mr. Willie Oeba from Nakuru, who is a spoken word artist and uh, has been with us today to kick us off with uh, a performance. And subsequent to that, we will go into a panel session that will be discussing how to start creativity and innovation in tackling rising social challenges. So Karibu sana, Mr. Weber, and we will kick off from there. Thank you. So my name is Willie Oeba, once again. I come from Nakuru. So in Nakuru, there is a group, it's called Confirm, yeah? These people who send text messages telling you guys, I've sent you cash, please send back. So right now what the police, the police are doing, you get inside a matatu and you have dreadlocks, they get you out, shave you, whether you are a lady, whether you are a gentleman, because these guys have dreadlocks, confirm guys, so they are stereotyping. So on the, 20, on the 21st of 2017, uh, January, I was nearly shot yeah, by a policeman because he had a photo and I looked like one of these guys were confirmed, yeah, because I had dreadlocks. I was really traumatized for days, yeah. And I used to write about love most of the time, imaginative poetry, but then I started writing about social justice. Thank you. Truth is, we don't know where the problem is. But the problem is, we don't know what the truth is. So music industry mekua violent, kila mtu anataka kuhit. Nda wapiga na conscience music, adi reality you are hit. Na dreams akupeleka ngo makapela kwa the beat. So sad. Mzazi madrea na piga mtoina, in reality yeye ndia mebeat. Preach water, drink the same water, but don't forget to watch what you eat. Ato kiwa njai, if you don't believe in it, don't subscribe to it. Protect what you stand for, kione ta kukripol. Kwa watu wamesmama yule mwenye meketi, ndia na stand out, so Buddha take a seat. Ato tambui defeat. Na waki kukasirisha, wewe jam. Jam to the heartbeat. Junme kuempower na the freedom to speak. Well, before elections, president won a potential voters. After elections, he won a taxpayers. Then more often than not, Akitaka town a fellow Kenyans. So the sitting president is now sleeping. Ah, uh -uh. he's sleeping. Now, when you tulipati a kura and you nakuja kutuliza why Kenyans are broke, it's all in the offensive. Kama kuenda ukambani kuliza when the rain start hitting us. Tell me. What better they are doing if not playing us? Black back to basics. My DJ, we need to start from the scratch. Nikama watu wazima wana target school going kids. Watoto sasa wanakuwa wazazi for no apparent reason. Na kiongozi wako wana speak fire, nataka kuona bloodshed, nikama na blood vision. Justice inenda na beya kuongea na mwana inchi ni bubu. Wali paint mabasi za shule yelo ndio wache legacy. Lakini kwa rooftop, Exams bad was in a leak. Jupesa kisima waliba and that's the damn truth. Sudden death is viewed kama spoiled votes. That's the sad truth. Akuna food, shelter, matter, clothing. That's the naked truth. My youth are one affair. Kwenda job interview politician way kili na kusumbuwa ni mafta That's the plain truth. Life ain't easy. That's the hard truth. It's not about sagging drugs. Do you not create my wasted youth? Inchi ma chef always the afford dealer food wana cook. Do my optician wana leap always yet a pigger look. Kill sin to see God at Otoe Taithaje. Ticket your heaven and you live in my mook. Ita kuaje cries at a jirin intellectual. Lakini ku cries a maskini ku maskio justice nikelele. Ita kuaje una believe in me na nikicheza kimimi una shiko na kiwewe. 
itakuwaje na ninyimo opportunity ya kupata kazi lakini kwa klabu unataka nipewe itakuwaje na jaribu kugeuka kifo ku separate mtu na mkewe na effect nguvu ya thao inafika malinduri ya mnyonge iweze fika ballot box na DSTV zinafika malidisha iweze fika watoto wanalala njaa julikunywa na pesa ya kula na vizuri unajua pombe iweze lika wanasiasa pia wanadanganya si movie peke yake ni kutriki siku hizi ukisaidia rafiki yako pesa yako na poteza rafiki yako na pesa yako kuwa njaa au mama beste chakula watanyi watakunyima onwe waende online wakutag madawa na mabeste wanashindana kuku drug KPLC wakidhani wamezima stima hapa ndani kuna wale wako na maplug Jesus alibitrewa na kiss wako hapo na jichocha julipewa hug thank you Wazee hiyo makofi naona kama haijatosha mazee. Hiyo piece mazee imekuwa ni piece nyingine ya kilo sana. Na hizo ndo conversations tuna have. Of course when you talk about democracy and human rights, these are very passionate subjects. Kuna Octopizo was here early in the morning. Akasema, you know, someone can have sympathy for your your troubles, but we have experience. And Oeba alizungumzia sana the question of him being profiled because he has dreadlocks. The assumption that he's a gangster and i think his piece uh, brought this out very 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 well and so i don't want to waste any time because we've started a little late and we want to have these conversations because uh, you know they are informing how we can uh, move forward with regards to the respect of human rights you know consolidation of democracy and of course also the attempt to actualize gender equality and we have a very very powerful panel coming up uh, this afternoon and uh, it's going to be discussing how to start creativity and innovation in tackling rising challenges and i want to thank you all for joining us today and uh, we'll also of course be interacting and engaging with you uh, i'm sure that the moderator will be drawing questions from yourself so you can prepare those as well and if you're at home and you're following on social media on hashtag #democracy and rights challenge you can also put your comments on facebook or uh, twitter and some of them will be channeled to the moderator and to the panelists so that we can have this uh, discussion you know engaging all of us and so without further ado i would like to invite miss uh, estelle mwai from women in action network who will be the moderator for this afternoon session and then she'll bring up her panelists or discussions so that we can have that session uh, as i said earlier we are on hashtag democracy and rights festival in this year's democracy and human rights festival 2020 Uh, coordinated by Forum Civ with the support of the Swedish Embassy. Karibu sana Madam Estelle. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Aya, niko peke yangu hapa ndani kumbe. Eh. Sawa, habari zenu? Bwana asifiwe. Asalamu alaykum. Haya. <laughs> Karibuni sana to this afternoon session we are going to be looking at how creativity and innovation you know can bring about social change how can we stir that creativity and innovation in order to bring that change that we so much look forward to have because using art to cause or to bring change is using a powerful tool to pass a powerful message why because art gives a voice to those who are disenfranchised in society and as artists as creatives it is upon us it is incumbent upon us to make sure that we use that tool effectively all right so all of us inside here you have a duty as a creative pass the message out there cause social change because art can dismantle hate So it is a very powerful tool and that is why I am going to be having powerful panelists this afternoon who are going to be helping us to tackle this subject of uh, stirring creativity and innovation in order to tackle rising challenges in our day-to-day -day lives because again art is life so how can we tackle these um, challenges which include issues of human rights gender equality and democracy And to start us off my first panelist is a beautiful lady a phenomenal woman yeah ladies first eh hata kwa introductions na kila kitu so 
Valentine Ziki, she's right here in the room. As she's coming up, give her a round of applause. Yeah, clap for her. I'm about to define her. Kidogo tu ile najua. Yeah, she's a multifaceted, uh, talented artist. She is an actress. She is a singer. She is a performing artist. She is a songwriter. She is a director at Prisk, the Performer Rights Society of Kenya. And she is also an intersectional feminist. A round of applause for Valentine Ziki. Yeah, the second lady, the second beautiful lady in this panel is none other than uh, Shiki. Shiki is a spoken word artist as well. Uh, she is also a student of law at the University of Nairobi. She is the slam queen. And then I do a slam poetry. She's the 59th queen. A round of applause for her. And also she is the founder of Evolution Art Hub. Mpigeni makofi basi kwa sababu ya luku pia. All right. So we also have on this uh, panel someone who I look up to. His name is Nicholas Songora. He's the executive director, Manyata Youth Entertainment, CBO from Mombasa. He's also a Generation Change Fellow of the United, uh, United States Institute of Peace. And he's working at the coast to make sure that violent extremism comes to an end. And he's doing a great job. A round of applause for this great gentleman as he comes. On this panel, we also have Nelmo. Nelson Munyeri is uh, the executive director for Mokuru Youth Initiative. He is also a nominee at the Kalasha Awards uh, 2020 for the best original score for the film Nembwa FM. He is also an ambassador for Terrace de Homes Netherlands, which works to end child exploitation across the world. A round of applause for this great young man from Mokuru Youth Initiative. Yeah, clap for him. Mamefanya mambo mingi. All right, and the last one is none other than Mwangela Kamenchu, Monaja. Is he here? Yeah, he's known for his protest music across the world. He has done big shows across many different stages. Uh, he's also a historian, a performing and recording artist, and he has been working towards social change collectively together with some of the big artists you know in Kenya. He has worked with Giuliani. He has worked with Eric Kwainaina. So a round of applause for Mwange Lakavenchu. Yeah, so thank you very much, guys, for making time to even come and sit uh, in this panel as we talk about uh, how uh, all of you as creatives, how we can stir, you know, that creative bug in us and, you know, innovation, just to make sure that we see this social change that we are looking for. How are we going to tackle these rising challenges every day? Today, we fight against SGBV, Tena Kesho, we find another form of violence has cropped up. So how are we going to handle these issues? So before maybe we start, maybe just one word from all of you, and then we start with the, you know, conversation. It's not an interview, it's just a very candid conversation. You can say anything, even if it's just, hi, guys. Good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, mine is uh, just to have a short introduction that uh, there's no way we can talk about activism if we don't take advantage of Article 35 of the Kenyan constitution, access to information. Information is power. If you don't have information on what cause you want to fight for, then it's like you're filling empty baskets. Nazinavuja, Asante. Asante sana. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, me, kitu nazasema, atani wangi kiswaili kidoko, sinio? First of all, it's just a tribute. Uh, I know for Dr. Stephen. And uh, the reason I'm saying that, I know there is a conversation already online. And uh, I say, I'll start there. I'll not start on the art side. I'll start on whereby we start having a conversation about our own issues. And then, um, because it's very important. And uh, that is also work of 
as a us as artists and everyone in the room. Asante. So um, the discussion around the power of arts, Haishangi, it's an ongoing conversation because there are so many ways to explore how art can heal a society, how art can speak for the unspoken, and how we can utilize and organize ourselves to make sure that art actually makes those people who are in power comfortably going about their business, comfortably eating and refusing to make change, it's, it art serves to make them uncomfortable and to remind them of their duty and to remind them of why it's important for art to exist and to also remind everyone basically in society. So I'm looking forward to the conversations around um, this, this issue today. And to uh, Changye. We learn from each other. Thank you. Thank you. Just to echo what she said, um, art is like a two-edged sword. Yeah, it's like a double-edged sword. It can build, but it can also shake the table. It can bring peace and healing, but it can also bring about um, what is it called? Unrest, right? So in this case, when you talk about using it for social issues, talking about social issues and social justice, it's supposed to do everything that it is doing. If it's shaking the table, if it's provoking emotions, if it's starting a conversation, that is exactly what art is meant to do. Wow. A round of applause for them, please. Yeah, and remember, we are live on Facebook, on Forum Civ Eastern and Southern uh, Africa Hub, and also on Twitter. You can follow us at Forum Civ Hub ESA Cups, and we are trending under the hashtag Democracy and Rights Festival. So send in your tweet, send in your comment, share this broadcast, host a watch party, send to several WhatsApp groups, let people know what is happening, let people know that we are having conversations around how art as a powerful tool for social change can be amplified and how we can stir creativity and innovation, even just to make sure that we bring duty bearers, you know, to task and we, ta and we hold them accountable as right holders. So guys, I would like, to, uh, would love to start with Valentine. Uh, why do you think it is important to encourage creativity and innovation when it comes to highlighting social issues, especially that affect our communities out there? Why do you think it's very important to strengthen and even to encourage creativity and innovation? For starters, um, creativity leads to, to creation of content that has a lot of impact, as opposed to the way we'll hold rallies or you know, do a round table to discuss social issues. Creativity lends a different angle and becomes um, a tool that makes information, vital information, more malleable. Like um, people or the public, basically, are able to consume art that way. It, it goes down easily, and it's better understood, in a sense. It's more humanized, because it, it comes out of a boardroom, you know, um, it comes out of those spaces that are very limited, and comes to everyone. In Akujakua Watutu. What wakawaida, and the message hits home best. And of course, um, when you look at innovation, we can't use the same tools. For example, that our can I say our our ancestors used. And when I say ancestors, not necessarily because they've gone, but um, the, the same the same energy or the same tools that were used in the 90s. You know, by anyone who just wanted to come into the space and organize and make change cannot work now. We're in a different space, we're in a different environment, and um, the political forces are very much aware of that, as we've seen with the previous election. They basically utilize social media to win, um, to make a, a, I'll say it was, it was an, an ethical win, you know, and they utilized 
technology very efficiently. So on our end, we also have to have that ability to utilize innovation and to move one step ahead so that we can be able to ensure that the message reaches the, the persons or the people that need it the most. Um, and technology is helping in that. So maybe for you, Mwangela, what is your take on that? You know, encouraging creativity and innovation to highlight or rather to tackle these issues in our community down there. For you, why do you think it is important to encourage? Um, because so kila mtu kila mtu akianza kusema akianza kusifia venye tuko na kaa tuna sifu tu Kenya ni nchi nzuri milima na mabonde wanyama wapori na nini hizo vitu mbaya kaa kuna mtu anaongelea hizo vitu mbaya if no one is speaking about those ills that are happening the excesses that we have um by the ruling class but in particular then we are going to normalize it and that becomes very dangerous i mean i think a good part of some of what we have seen has been normalized so violence is normalized yeah. becomes yes. and it becomes it's not something that's just limited think of violence don't just think of violence of someone hitting each other but think of the violence of 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 someone it is violent for one someone who does not have a job i usually ask a question like is that person peaceful is someone who doesn't have a job peaceful is someone whose brother whose sister has been gunned down by police peaceful um bbi would say bbi has brought peace mtu mwenye ame amebomolewa nyumba ako peaceful so Lazima inakuwaga poa msania kiongele hizi issues. Ju, ukikosa kuongele hizo, unapata inakuwa normalized. Inakuwa tuka, nisa ni kawaida tu. It's fine. I actually asked someone the same, same questions I've been asking. Um, mtu mwenyana kazi ni peaceful. Kasema, but inakuwanga kawaida. But it's not supposed to be. But because, and we have to also understand the context that we are coming from. Ukoloni uh, Mamboleo, the decolonization of Kenya, I think, is not complete. Um, so, in Apata, the way the colonial government used to work is the way the government of today works extract, extract, extract. That's the way the police force works extract. Mtau, Tapata, Ndaya Karao, Inapita, Inaingia Kwa Baesa, Inapata Kakitu. How different is that na policy, Izo Siku? wakizunguka kipata poll tax kipata heart tax hata kulikuwa na breast tax by the way so people have to talk about these things because kosa kuongelea becomes a way of life and it more or less has become a way of life yeah it becomes a way that people are conditioned to believe that whatever is, is happening should happen in fact it is right if it doesn't happen it's abnormal so as you have rightly said let us talk about these issues. Let us not just say, ah, yo ni sawa tu, inakuwanga hivyo, yo ni kawaida. No, it's not kawaida. It's up to you, kupaza sauti yako, you know, and refuse to be conditioned in such a way that, you know, you're just meant to believe. Kama ni mikono mwembeo winue. In fact, mikono inafaa kukua juu. Ayufai kukua chini hata kidogo. So that, that is a very good point. Maybe for you, Sogora, what is your take on that as we wind up and go to the to the next uh, point of discussion. Am I allowed? Thank you, Corona Iko. Um, mine are just to acknowledge that uh, uh, creativity is uh, a very important human resource that we have. And um, combining the fact that the world is very fast, you know, moving from analog to digital spaces, inclusion of technology, um, is the best approach we could use in to ensure that we push for social change, the change that we want to see as young people, the change that we want to see as a nation and as a country. And uh, to this is that most of our people in the context you have in Africa, uh, Kenya as a country, different counties, uh, people believe in uh, what they see. 
the world they hear, you see. So we have an opportunity in terms of creativity to bring about, uh, uh, as the saying goes, uh, tell me and I'll forget, show me and I'll remember, but involve me and I'll understand. How best do we have the kind of advocacy with the community? As creative artists, we have an opportunity uh, uh, to develop, you know, beautiful scripts that have um, uh, fusion of drama to provoke dialogue, especially we're talking about participatory educative theater, for example, that provokes dialogues with communities. But again, how do we take advantage to ensure that we combine it by the, te uh, the technology? Like now what we are doing right now, we are, uh, dialogue, this is more of a traditional way of communicating. But again, because of technology, now we are live. I would say the rest of the world, if one wishes mm. to follow this conversation, you can will. easily do it. Yeah. So how do we combine creativity, uh, innovation? As you know, uh, creativity is uh, development of ideas, while innovation is maximizing, you know, or uh, um, um, uh, exploiting further the ideas to generate what you want to see in the long run. So it's a matter of how do we combine of this so to ensure that we have safe spaces where actually young people could define themselves with what we are doing as activists. I would say very simply that we have so many activists, we're calling ourselves activists, but there's a very big gap from the cause, the issues that we are bringing about saying you're doing activism, but most of the time there's a gap between us and the consumers down there. So there's a need for us to carry what we call our audiences to carry what we call our beneficiaries in terms of information that we have to ensure that we are talking from one page. Thank you. Thank you, Nicholas. Now, uh, to the next point, and I will start with uh, Nel Moore. Now, what are some of the ways that uh, you feel, you know, can be used to improve creative thinking in respect to right holders tackling, you know, issues down there where they are machinani? Uh, for me, I just think the most important thing is to be able to talk whatever you feel like. Because me I understand art as an expression of oneself. Sometimes, later you're talking about issues that you're facing, for example. It's very easy for you to find other people, a hundred, a thousand, a million people other, who are feeling the same about it. So as Songora said about ex, uh, freedom of expression. What an example, uh, in the last two years, we have seen a wave uh, of gangeton music. Mm. And basically for me, I've seen it as a way of these young people getting to express themselves the best way they know. Of course, there have been discussions on different quarters, but for them, they were expressing themselves. And uh, issues, when you talk about issues, for example, uh, sexual and reproductive health, for them, they, they have been expressing themselves the best way they know. People started realizing, wow, there are other things that were happening. And that is the same, even when you get to talk about social change and all these other ways. The most important thing is to their mind. You see, we have seen, at least in Kenya, Kidogo, we have at least that liberty to be able to talk about some of the things. But you can see what is happening in uh, even our neighbors' countries, whereby as an artist, you cannot speak your mind, and then it means that things won't be the same as, uh, as possible. And also something else is for young people to understand the role of politics into each and every, most, the most basic thing you can think about. So in time to realize you, then it was very easy for us to normalize. When I was in the house, I was in the house, social change, I was in you understand? But you, you were talking about an issue that is affecting you, but you want to know Now, we still talk about the same thing, yeah. just that you're not singing it, mm. you're just saying it. So I think it's us being able to speak our mind. All right. For you? Um, sometimes we can be in spaces where um, we feel, as a people, we're not able to talk we're not able to express ourselves. And it's not because we don't want to, sometimes we don't even think we have the chance to, right? We don't even think you have the space to say that, A, this is how I feel, and this is how I think things should go, right? And when someone sees you 
express yourself the way you have say this and this is happening and i don't like what it's hap- what is happening ini kitu imekuwa ikifanyika kwa mtaa this is how as as what to tunatoka hii side tunakandamizwa maybe na government or whatever that is happening opens something in other people who are in the same same space they are like oh my god this is the exact same thing i'm going through this person is saying the exact thing that i'm going through so i can speak about it so i can be angry about it so i can feel these emotions that i'm feeling because as in you know you can be going through something and you're feeling like maybe you're overthinking it maybe ni wewe tu why are you angry bono make asirika yeah so it's easy to go to things that are entertaining that um distract you from what is actually hurting you than talk about the issue itself and having art as a way to express yourself and say this is where we are at i'm angry about this is such an important medium or tool for everyone right because i feel like if all of us were just um compressed see what to make ana mashida zetu see what you know labda jana mlifukuzwa kwa nyumba juu amkuwa na rent sijui nini maji hizo vitu zote and then umekaa tuna hizo mashida you can imagine how we would be walking around right mm. so beyond just it being a place where we can vent and talk about our emotions it's a place also where we can come together and be like oh this is where we're at so what do we want to see where do we want to go how do you want to go about it and that's how i feel like if the community can now come together and be involved and be like yeah i don't like what is happening here and i think this is the way we can go about it let's involve the chief let's try and talk to the mc let's see what he has to say about this situation and then from there kazi inaendelea yeah so let everyone be involved i mean ni sisi wote we in this together whether we like it or not eh? there are only two classes someone once said they have and they have notes hakuna ati tuko hapo ni kama niko ni kama si yuko ah ah either you have or you don't have so it is up to all of us to work together and you know create those safe spaces you guys are talking about where we can you know engage where we can come together put our heads together because uh, sometimes when you are alone and you're trying to agitate for something people may often think no we are going to interest but when you're together then it becomes a pana this is not about this person it is something bigger it is something more and online thank you very much mwasi um, mngereza you're watching and saying willio eba nice peace then bob fadili you're saying it will be dangerous if we do not talk about the vices that our country is facing because these issues will be normalized hence the importance of using creativity and innovation hashtag #democracy and rights festival katherine kimani thank you very much you are watching from menengai ward in nakuru county then i'm strong alaro you're saying uh, following from mombasa likoni what an amazing contribution from songora So guys are watching keep watching keep sharing keep tweeting under the hashtag democracy and human rights festival all right moving on now uh we you've, you've all had engagements with the community do you think that you know art has has been used effectively in the community to bring about some of you know to highlight and even to come up with solutions of some of these issues alongside your work everyone will, will have a chance to answer these questions in the different communities that you work if it's in the art community you know down there at mukuru uh, in your work kamenchu do you feel like now the community the people where you work you know, where you are they have embraced art as a way of dealing with some of these issues we can start with uh, shiki um yes I feel like they have embraced it and I feel like uh, uh the more we are using art and going down into the community um and involving the community they are also open into um involving themselves using art for social change because kitambo art ilikuwa inatumika like ilikuwa inaonekana ni kama ni entertainment right um why using why using art na at the end of the day like hijafurahisha mtu ni kama imekasirisha you know like at the end of the day now we are angry sasa why are we here you know like already niko na mashida nyumbani i'm coming here to um 
is my mind not to get to to be told about my problems again but in that situation where we are able to sit down and be like okay so this is what you're going through um this is how it is then we are to be like okay what next we can't just keep on sitting here saying this is how we feel this is how it is then what next you know like what next it reaches a point where you, you also ask yourself what next how do we go on from here and from there people start taking leadership in their own way and be like okay this is how i can come in this is how as a person i feel like i can effect change maybe i don't have money or power or i don't know nani or nani but i can talk to my two friends i feel like these two friends of mine we can do something about it i feel like if we, if we involve nani and nani we can do something as a collective to see and effect change in the co in the community Valentine. Hello. Okay. So I feel um, the disruption is not as big as it should be or as it could be. And even when it's there, it's not sustained because there are various challenges around it. Um, speaking specifically from the perspective of the creative industry, where we we have um, a lot of a lot of um, a lot of players or a lot of stakeholders who have the power to channel positive messages that can be very impactful, and in particular uh, messages to do with social change. But that doesn't happen often enough, and when it does, it, it comes off like more of a popularity scheme other than it being what it is for you know, for change, generally for change. Um, I feel artists, especially activists who have taken the path of choosing to use their art for social change, don't get enough credit, they don't get protection, they don't get uh, monetary support to continue their work. So as such, they're unable to sustain that drive to, to push for, for change through their art and um, apart from that even if we we address the the, the underlying issues we we are yet to deal with the, the generational trauma surrounding a lot of us um, especially ages below 40 yeah? because we we were raised by parents who went through a lot during the colonial um, period because their parents additionally also went through a lot. So we've not had time to unpack and deal with these issues because the first regime that came in, like um, Kamenchu said, came in to enforce what was already uh, perpetuated by the colonial forces. So it's not been much of a change. In fact, the first regime seemed to attack artists and activists of that time. And from that moment, the attitude that the society had of artists was very problematic and still continues to be problematic and these are the, the the society is specifically whom we are creating um this um, act for or we are creating uh, the message for when they don't already see you as an impactful person in the society they don't take the message seriously and tend to be dismissive so in terms of the gains I would say there are fewer. We are not where we should be, and we are still further from that point. But um, the interruption could definitely be bigger. It could be better sustained. Yeah. But we are not where we used to be. At least we are getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. Yeah. Um, I think the, the, the best part for you to start is the place closest to you. Getting to know, to understand the community you come from and getting to find ways to be able to, uh, to tackle some of the challenges. And for me, I can say, um, for Mukuru, uh, for Mukuru, we have been able to do a lot. I know there are even artists uh, in here and even others who are watching who are from Mukuru. And I can say, whatever we have been able to do today, it's not something that was there 10 years ago. Uh, Kitambo ungeski unenda mukuru. Uh, Ingeko yo time kulikuwa na uba. Uba will not be coming to mukuru. I don't want to lie. But uh, we have seen, because young people, and mostly young people who are in art, in the art scene, have been able to 
not wait for people from outside to come and organize because organizing is a first thing. So we, we have so many activities being organized by fellow artists in Mukuru, and I think that's where it starts by first creating a space uh, in, your, in, your, in your community, creating a space where other people can be able to express themselves. And I can say through that has been able to open and even more artists discover more artists, more people getting to decide, I want to talk about issues. So I think the most important thing is to create a space. Uh, we have seen in the few years, we have seen, uh, let's say, for example, let me say, after King Kaka released Wajinga Sisi, Wajinga Nini, you could see so many other spoken word artists coming out and speaking loudly, and so many people already starting to start talking about these issues. These is issues. So the most important thing is first be able to create that space, and I can say that's where we've been able to start, and that is the only place where we'll make sure that even more and more people get to speak about it. And these issues in Guinea, because the truth is Tunajua. Akuna Skugaveta to pay a view on a silver platter. It will never, like, you'll never start talking about and say, yeah, nataka nipewa space yangu, nataka kubonga, nataka kubonga mbaya about a politician. They, they won't give us that. So it's a matter of pushing every day, being innovative as much as possible. As an artist, finding different ways. Hata ukiitwa kwa sengine itwa kwa political rally enda hapo na upige nimechoka kuishi maisha ya kawaida ugali na sukuma wiki because then uh, you'll be passing the information that you want to pass get to a certain extent because then they won't give you these things in a silver platter. They want you to come to their space for example and praise them but then for you if you understand the challenges that are coming around you then it's very easy to be able to speak about them and if they don't give you a space go out there and create it yeah so you feel that the community where you work has embraced art you know as a way of tackling some of these issues that you have highlighted yeah but i can say it's a hundred percent yeah but uh i can say we have seen that mostly among young people mm. the truth is among young people because you can you can just tell it. For example, what I'm saying, your COVID, we haven't done our biggest festival, Mukuru Festival. Mm. But that is a space that you find every artist want to come to that space. Young people come out there. They, they want to see what our fellow artists in the community are doing. And that, that, that already, that, the support that has been there for the last seven years, it can tell you like people really want to see this happening. You get, but it's not a hundred percent because then kuna wale wata sema, ah, wana watu wa kelele, artists sometimes kuna itangu watu wa kelele, ah, watu wa kelele, lewa meleta kelele huku. Yeah. Yeah. For you, Nicholas, in your community where you're working towards, you know, ending violent extremism, do you feel like your community is now embracing art and even you feel like now, community, anyway, we are working now together, they're understanding what we do and they're supporting us. Ama bado kuna... Okay, thank you for this opportunity. Um, I will say the community embracing art and accepting is important to them. Yes. But again, in terms of uh, embracing it as a tool for change completely, I will say no. And then uh, again, no, because the duty to the rice, rice holders, it is kind of important because they are able to reflect themselves, to see their daily you know, context, how they live. But to the rights holder, to the uh, duty bearers, it is a no. Because art, creativity, in ile maswala nafaja diliwe baada are serious conversations. And uh, it's very tricky sometimes because when you look at the context um, where we work, looking at multi-sectoral approach, need to have partnership with the government. Mostly in the programs, the easiest item kuondolewa katika program kama muda umepotewa ni nini? A piece of art. Nambo ondoa wasanii lakini hizi speeches zitaendelea. Unaelewa. So uh, um, the duty bearers have not embraced art as a tool for change. But I will say the work we do in uh, cost um, arts and culture has played a very critical role 
in influencing change. Our work is not to force people to change, but to influence change. And the reason why, is why it has been able to impact is I want to say here is the best way of using creative or art social change is to ensure we are factual what we want to disseminate. One, our work should be advised by research. Before we develop scripts, come up with pieces to go and present the community, we must always have factual information on the context, the kind of challenges, the things, you know, it's all about speaking to the hearts of the community. What particular issue will you use, you know, to ignite the community so that they can resonate with what you're bringing? That's very important, there's a gap in that. And for us, we take advantage with a, a component that have been trained by USIP, participatory action research, that we make use in terms of uh, collecting data in the community. And this is what we use to advise our program inter interventions. And also at the same time, we use this data to develop scripts, you know. So by the time you're going to that community, by the time you are mounting uh, uh, the performance, already the community, they're resonating with what is happening. They are able to see themselves. So, so this provokes dialogue. That's a common and very difficult conversation. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. like I will say it has been impactful, as what you have mentioned, you know, working preventing counterfeit extremism in the coast region. Yeah. It's not as to why we have been able uh, 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 to occupy spaces in, like young people in decision-making process because of arts and culture. Mm -hmm. In a way that uh, a community are able to resonate with what you're doing. The people they could remember very easily when anyone comes to the community, who comes here to interact with the people? What programs comes here? They will always remember number one, Manyata Youth Entertainment. Why? They understand because they are involved practically in the process. You know? And then um, it's very important and very critical to ensure that whatever we are doing, in one way, we are building both ends. One is using arts to provoke, to do activism, and also mm -hmm. create roundtable engagement. You know, embrace people who will go do dialogue mm -hmm. in the boardrooms and also apply activism outside. Mm -hmm. So in this way, that we'll be able to have the duty bearers to also sit down and listen to what the young people are doing. One gap that we have that sometimes uh, uh, stops us from achieving what we want to, to achieve is because we focus mainly on doing activism using art to throw stones all the time, speak on negativity, you know. It's very important that this aspect we are continuing to process now that we have very good policies in this country. The Constitution 2010, uh, now that we have a lot of reports that have been developed on, on uh, um, uh, uh, like issue of uh, historical injustices, we have the reports that are lagging there. How do we take advantage to combine these forces, as you are doing arts and also embrace dialogue mm -hmm. at the same time so that we can have a common ground where we meet and discuss. So in, in talking about the work that Bachelor is doing, we have really impacted and fueled change in the society. One, as we speak, um, we've been having challenges with the Mombasa County government. From 2007, we have been storming uh, the county assembly, making noise, you know, going on press statements uh, 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 on how they are not doing purposeful and meaningful participation in the process. They use they they they, they use not to you know kind of advertise but participation on time. They could not develop also avail documents, very important documents to communities. That is starting from development of the county integrated development plan annual development plan and also uh, the county budgeting process. These are all done, you know, against the law. So through us, you know, and awakening the communities, you know, you cannot always be on the front as, a, as an activist. It's always you. Sometimes the duty bearers will stop communities and ask them, who is telling you these things? If the community is not understanding what cause you are, you are, you are advocating for, what a kuruka, it would be very easy for them to be given peanuts or quite feel the whole participation and start booing you when you start making sentiments, you see. Yeah. So the point of it is to move with the community. So that's what we have managed to achieve, of course, in partnership with other organizations, of course. And uh, we have, as we speak now, we have a Public Participation Act of 2017, and barely quite enacted. And there is also a conversation 
uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the final you know, decision-making of having a, a public participation policy. It's a very important tool. And we have made sure that the aspect of social change has also been included in that process. And we speak again, we also have a conversation on development of a youth policy, both for Mombasa County and Cliffy County, work that has been spearheaded by our partner and our Jibwe to Pacha Africa. Mm -hmm. So you see, it's primarily through the arts, enlightening communities. By the time you are saying, guys, the public participation at Likoni Social Hall, the community won't even ask you for fair. Mm -hmm. Why? Just, because yes. they have understood mm -hmm. why they should stand as communities and go and make noise in that hall. Credible noise, not noise to destroy. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? Yeah. So this is something that has really helped. I'm talking about uh, counterfeit extremism. Our work back in 2017, when we had attacks and, uh, at Masjid Musa, when it was very difficult to have a conversation on CVE, mm -hmm. ads for social change was the only medium and also I credit also to the mainstream media, was the only medium that was used to start a conversation, community level. What to call Ogopa? Whatever you talk about, violent extremism, terrorism, community will just, you know, rush. But arts helped us to break the silence. Yeah. People are speaking. Now, every corner in Mombasa, you talk about extremism, it's a normal, it's a normal conversation. Mm. And that's why we have, been, we have managed to a little bit contain and win the war against front extremism in the spaces. Yeah. Yes. Because you have used, you know, art and creativity to simplify mm -hmm. for the community some of these complexities that, you know, they look like something, you know, something new. It's the elephant in the room and no one is ready to talk about such issues. And uh, at the end of the day, it's the children from the community, the young men uh, who are going to face, you know, the repercussions of whatever happens, you know whatever, external or internal from their own communities. For you, Mongela, maybe do you feel like the community where you work in has embraced you know, art as a tool for social change? Kila soko ina uenda wazimu wake. So, pali pia minatoka, kuna uenda wazimu. Because I kind of shuttle between two places in Kenya, like Meru, Nairobi as well. Um, so, I mean, you have, if I, if I kind of even go beyond the community, but yes, you have graffiti artists, for example, um, uh, drawing upon the memories of those people, of, of some of the liber, some of those people who stood for progressive political ideals, um, kind of drawing upon that history for people to remember what they stood for, be it Kimathi, be it Winnie Mandela, be it so on, uh, Amikal Cabral, all of those. Um, but there's also, I think, I feel when the question, the way I kind of interpret the question, it's also a question of setting the agenda, setting the agenda. And, and artists are kind of, artists they are the alternative. When you think of their power in Kenya, ideally an artist is supposed to if I'm having a conversation, if I'm, let's say, talking about Shiki, I'm supposed to be thinking of this, this powerful voice, more powerful than even NTV or KTN or Nation, you know? And, and I feel we haven't yet, as artists, like, I feel we haven't yet got there. I feel that uh, we art really hasn't set the agenda as, as it should be. And I feel that's critical because if you have the political elite always setting the agenda, now it's BBI, before referendum, referendum mm -hmm. then something else. Wasani, yeah. And then now we are going to start reacting. So we are going to make songs on anti BBI. Mm. I'm going to make a song because I made a song about COVID 19 mm -hmm. uh, or the kind of ugliness it produced yeah. in, in Kenya. And it was them. Angaliani YouTube, by the way. So anyway, so like I think um, in terms of setting the agenda, I think we, we also have to ask ourselves why we are not as powerful as we should, should be as artists. And we also have to ask ourselves a question, you in the generation, you yo, um, Keishaka, Kalamashaka, the guys who are the pioneers of this in industry, one of the pioneers, pioneering groups of the industry. 
and some of some of the music they made was so radical and it was so it not only showed you the ills about what Kenya is going through and what Africa by extension is going through but they actually said how can we how can we solve this and they offered a way out in some of their songs ni wakati moto many of these songs so there's a big disconnect between that generation and this generation which will only talk about what has been put to them i feel like a the constitution um to, for the most part if you compare it to the older one it's certainly a development um, but i feel that it should be used not as an end in and of itself but as a document to get more from more in the future like i think the questions we should be asking ourselves is not not asking ourselves what the constitution says but how should life be in this in this world like how should it be should should people be suffering this much well another group of people has so much in their hands in terms of wealth disproportionate wealth there you have a family that owns more than 500,000 acres of land one family <laughs> well you have people roaming the, the streets of the masses, exactly yeah. so how how are we as artists setting the agenda mm. to the point bbi should have found us going on yeah. now the problem is we also have to address what artists face artists have problems earning a living inabidi kawe msanii upige magoti kwa kila kitu so msanii hata utanunuliwa utaambiwa imba juu ya hii imba juu ya hii secondly ana utaimba because lazima lazima hata utaimbia utaitwa rally utaona au ma politician wakikatika muimbe na upewe mita zako ama hata 500 wengine hata nasikia hata wajalipo so anyway but going back to the root hata beyond msani liberty msani so lazima msani akuwe self reliant yoni kitu ya kwanza which is a struggle and this is something that we as artists have been have been working with other artists to kind of address that but the second thing is where as an artist as we have just had like you have to do research you have to have for you to make songs that set the agenda you have to have a particular political orientation and that comes with a particular type of there has to be some intellectual work for you to get the right orientation to say okay this is what is progressive and this is the agenda that we are setting for, forth for the next 5 years for the next 1 year and so on and so forth so ultimately it goes back to education system so eh kwa wenye wanaskiza wenye wako na okay mimi sina junior but wenye wako na junior like i think um education system zetu lazima to we have to accept that they have failed and we have to start thinking of 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 alternative systems that can make people see things more progressively from a political standpoint and then from there now artists can spring up and then lastly um i think um drawing again from the examples i've mentioned of kalamashaka i think the artists of this day need to spring from a social movement um because social movements they are the ones that are going to not only challenge the artists to intellectually and even artistically but they are going to be part of that movement of sharing pengine ziki ametoa ngoma kali yenye naongelea issues na mimi niko kwa hiyo movement na share na na siongelee kama mimi kama msanii i'm saying we are part of the movement so she supported by an entire group which in not only pengine kuna daktari kwa hiyo movement mwenye yuko kwa trade unions mm-hmm. pengine kuna pengine sijui kuna nani kuna pengine mse mwenye university student mm-hmm. so yeye university student akienda kampo ataona yenye hizi shida zenye ziki anaimba ai na ziona hapa kampo so tuchoche wase tuanze kufanya kazi nao ma student leaders na kama afanyi tuachuje for the right leadership too so I guess that's what I'd say. Yeah, so maybe, maybe maybe just to yeah. say something. For me I think the state of the art industry in Kenya the way it is is very intentional from the political class. Uh, what an example like we uh, just a few I think a month ago you TZ was in elections. Yeah. So, mm. If you look at it all the bloggers 
all the big artists you know were pulled on one side mm. and were used as a tool to influence the elections. Yes. Isn't it? And some of them were given party tickets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very powerful. Mm. You understand? So the political class, they're not stupid. They know. Wanajua, in a time to touch us, say we as powerful. Just imagine if those people were on, decided to, to, to be on the opposite side and say, no, for us, we don't want your money. For us, we want to have this stand. Of course, the same thing that you, things, things will have changed. Yeah. You get? So the most important thing is artists to understand that at Atulie, Tunajua, Ziki Akokwa CMO. Mm. She knows the struggle to make one all, all the years. Mm. You get? She, for me, I'm, I'm a member. You understand? So, Nakuna Siku, I'm a director. Unfortunately, she's a director, one of the directors. Akuna Siku, I'm a director on the silver platter. Hey, when you're going to attack, you to Nah, it will never happen. Because Kenya has reduced to interest. For example, uh, today I was very pissed off. That's why Nilian Zanaila's statement yeah, a tribute to Dr. Joseph who passed from mm. COVID after mm. he has not been paid for five, five months. months yeah. He has no uh, insurance HIF, cover. Yeah. And then you come and tell me at Daktari, one of our lewe, we are, and then you, you're telling us you want us next year, mid next year, June, or whatever, you want us to get to a referendum that would cost us billions. And doctors have been crying ever since COVID. You get? But you tell them at Munafam Welewe, you understand? It's very intentional. No, no. And these spaces, they're not giving us any time soon. It's getting out there, and they understand the power of art and how art can be able to influence change. Yeah. So that is very powerful as well as uh, the agenda setting. Uh, as creatives, let us be part of that you know, agenda setting process, even if it is so hard and the political class, wanajiweza, na wakutu sawa, let us start, you know, thinking about being the ones who are setting an agenda for ourselves, not waiting for someone to sit somewhere in an office, alafa na kuja na wambia sasa, tunaenda hivi, hivi ndio tunaenda. Na kuna kuuliza maswale, I think uh, it will be a very bad place for us, even as creatives, we cannot thrive, yani. Life will be just, very difficult. Uh, just a moment yeah. um, before it goes. I would like to add uh, value, saying that, uh, you know, the politicians are also artists mm. and they have uh, mastered, you know, the creative thinking and they are unpacking what the artists should be doing. I'll give, I'll give a very good example. Um, uh, Raila Molodinga, he comes with Vitenda Willi on stage and tomorrow we are all singing the same thing. Hata kama iko na meaning, iko na meaning tumebeba. And that's how we move. You see. Um, um, I'm saying there's a problem. Kwa wasani. Especially quote unquote. That's what nafanya activism. We are not genuine. We are not genuine. And uh, the fact is even among us people are still competing. As you're saying, you're fighting for a common cause. You want to change this country. But we are still seeing competing. Even the kind of pieces that we are doing uh, is a deliberate change. You know, we are still uh, uh, in the space of gathering funds, or who is better, who is not better than the other. The spoken word artists, they're all doing as for social change. But what I come to now, we compare. So the point is, instead of uniting the common one, Inchi, to resonate with what we are doing unaelewa becomes very difficult because already tume tumewa tumewagawanya kama politician hawa ni mafans wa uh, songora hawa ni mafans wa kanyashi are you getting me yeah. but kanyashi is speaking the same thing that we need to change we need to say no to bbi i'm giving an example and songora is saying we need to say no to bbi but the way we have uh, presented ourselves outside there on instagram on mm. twitter it's like we are competing. Yeah. But it comes to politicians. Yeah, They're very creative. It comes one common agenda. We want to ensure that the governors will stay here forever. Despite the political differences, despite what they will come together and they will sing. And they will all say, we must support BBI. So this problem comes from, we have internal, that's a very simple question. I love being controversial. Do we have a strong association 
I think we are having a conversation earlier morning here. Ya wasani. You can say in Kenya we have an association in wasani that is very strong. That come rain, come shine, if something comes, we'll be in solidarity and things will change and move. Iko. We have an association. But political parties? Yeah. Is it to political parties? Mm. Political parties are so many, so the same. <laughs> they are, but when it comes to members of those political parties, they are ready even to die. Yeah. For their members. Mm. Not like arrested. You'll see all them gathering there and a magariao and a roadblock. Mm. But for artists, is it happening? No. Why? So for us to influence change and have the change we want to see, we need to start from Daniya Nyumba. We need to clean our messes. Mm. We have cartels in the arts industries. Cartels that are seated there for years and years. kutoka. Na kuna vijana wenye wakona tajiriba, wakona uwezo, wamekuja, wanawaka. If they're given the opportunities to sit in these platforms, they can influence the change you want to see. Mm. So it's all about understanding. No, nimekua katika industry mudambrefu na naona maze. Imefika mahali mekua ngumu. Hata mimi ni kona kateli kangu kwa benja kule kwa uh, inaituwaje hile political party ya, ya maendelewe ya kina mama. Mm. Mimi ni kuhuku na ngoja anytime nitapewa nomination ni inge kama assistant senator. Masee, umejua unatoka kwa activism. Kwa activism. Yaribu exit, but try to formulate people that will come and sit at that space once you exit. It is very important. Yeah. Let me just very valid. Uh, very so valid. comment on that. Mm. Um, yeah, it's very true that artists don't have the, I would say the unity or the harmonization required to bring about change. Mm. But like uh, Mongela has mentioned, which are problems that are also politically motivated. Because coming like, like now from the level of uh, CMO, where we collect royalties on behalf of artists, kwa ile kazi wamefanya, nachukua royalties, ndiozi warudie. Even that process, as it is, mm. is already problematic. It's Meaning you cannot, yeah, yeah. you cannot empower the artists yeah. financially, and you cannot give them the tools to help themselves just as they are in their career before we even get on a societal level. Like the struggles are just so many and so demeaning. This person does not have any welfare. They don't have any retirement benefits. And then when you look around, who's this example of an activist that we are looking at? Alianza akiwa activist na mekufa akiwa mze akiwa fiti. Do we have those? When you look at the larger international um, level, you will find artists, you will find um, activists who actually practice as, as musicians, as actors, etc., who have that ability to sustain their movements because they are committed, but also because the system works for them on a level. For artists, we are considered to be casual workers. You know, it's only recently that even KRA started collecting from artists. Mm -hmm. So asking... We, are, we, we ask for a lot from this group of individuals based on their talents, but we also need to look at the kind of support we are also lending to them to give them the ability to now come up and say, we are now a movement. We are, we are above certain challenges, now we are a movement. Mm. And that is how you'll find artists getting into this for money. Mm. And of course, the public will always perceive the art that is produced by this particular artist as NGO um, inspired art which they will not be inclined to listen to them. Like, ah, so they'll easily mistrust artists but on that level we have so many issues within the industry even trying to fight back like he's mentioned yes I'm a, I'm a director in one of those companies but even raising issues to do with embezzlement and irregularities has gotten me into so much trouble that when I look around for support, mm. I'm like, is, this, is it worth it fighting mm. this fight? Yeah. You know, is it sustainable? Is it going to bring about change, the kind of change that is needed? So we, we have to also interrogate. Ni shidagani ziko kwa spaces zinafanya 
activist na artist wa reactive mbona hatuna movement hatuna movement kwa sababu hatuko pamoja kwa nini tuko pamoja kila mtu yuko kwa shida zake mm. na tumesambaratika kwa sababu system yenyewe ime enable to sambariti haitaki ya, kujua unalala unakulaje unaenda hospitali aje una wale watu wanakukolect ya pesa wanafanya nini who's been held accountable you know same as doctors imagine if doctors are getting that sort of treatment sasa artist tutajipanga wapi mm -hmm. you know yeah yeah absolutely so many challenges so many issues and all those points are valid like we need to reflect you know deeply and like uh, valentine is talking about the struggle even within you know such cmos and, and when you try to shed light you know to get people who are accountable to be brought to book where, where they embezzle funds or, or anything wasani wanakwambia hey i see to you na wewe and then you wonder really why were you complaining in the first place that was even my manifesto when i wanted to be elected nitawatetea nitafanya nini but no support so wasani pale nje manze let us be serious otherwise tutaendelea tu kuteseka hivyo hiyo ndio hali halisi hiyo ndio hali kwa ground huh? but but i think so, It, it's it's a society problem yeah, it's it not is. It, it's starting from the society to it the is. artist yeah mm. thank you very much chiku ali you're following you're saying well put songora art is yet to be embraced by duty bearers as a tool to address deep rooted issues derigo esther you are saying following the conversation from mombasa kenya youth must embrace the use of uh, innovation to reclaim our spaces victor ehu you're saying art and innovation help to propel social movement forward Uh, thank you Nicholas also you are online thank you very much for uh, you know being active right here and even online Alan Wagulu you're saying always have facts good points right there locked in from wa kwale and then Bobson Fadili you're saying community sensitization through art has enhanced increased community engagement on matters public participation in the budget uh, making process in Mombasa which has in turn brought the realization of the public participation act 2017 of Mombasa county into law hey Mombasa people we watch out they are on fire that is what we are talking about we are trending on the hashtag democracy and rights festival on twitter and even on facebook we are live remember to share this video remember to host a watch party invite your friends to watch just let them know that we are having very valid conversations right here at the kenya national theater it's the democracy and human rights festival 2020 now moving on to another point Uh, what have been some of your best approaches when it comes to community advocacy you know what can you say i use this intervention i use this practice and it bore fruits you know in my work as a community advocate down there uko mashinani because we want to stir up these communities we want them to know that we are we are working towards making our communities better so let us share maybe what you have been doing as a best practice and you have seen it you know in a letter matoke of lani bi kwa community maybe shiki let us start with you um the best way i've been i've been able to interact with the community and just different communities is um partnering with different organizations that go to the root of those communities that actually interact with these people and talk to these people and find out what their problems are and sometimes they bring in artists to come and collaborate with them or to partner with them on some of the projects so if it's something to do with women and girls and there's an issue with maybe um sexual reproductive health right and they want to educate the girls about sexual reproductive health things to do with pads hygiene stuff like that mm -hmm. then you we partner with such orga such organizations and we are able to um collaborate with the girls and the women and talk with them and do art together and sometimes art can also be used in a therapeutic way yeah because i've been involved in in projects where um we call it art therapy art therapy is used for bringing healing to or starting the journey of healing for people who have gone through traumatic events like if it's physical abuse if it's sexual violence stuff like that so if you're able to come into a community and be like okay so this is the issue and let's use art for healing let's use art as a safe space where we can open up and talk about what is happening and all of us can be able like every everyone's voice matters everyone 
everyone's voice counts, then you able you're able to see people open up and be willing to share their experiences and be willing to talk to you about the things that they are going through. So for me, I have been able to interact with different communities is by partnering with different organizations. All right. So that is good, you know, because networking definitely your network is your net worth. So thank you very much for that. Uh, Valentine. I would also say the power of collaboration. I have seen um, a lot of um, impact come from putting different minds together, even if the organizations might, or individuals or entities might seem to be far, in, in, far apart in terms of the goals they're trying to reach. The power of col collaboration helps to build uh, material that can be very impactful. In addition to this, uh, particip participatory um, theater and content creation, where you involve the participants and the community in um, churning out content that has been taken from very complex material. You know, if you're looking at um, teaching them um, anything to do with, for example, the constitution, just taking that information and turning it around into something that is consumable, even if it means um, creating content in that particular language, um, I've, I've found that helping the participants to translate the information into a form that is easily receptible has been very effective. Thank you. Nelmo? Uh, for me, I think the most important thing, first of all, is to make sure that the people understand. The most important thing, that people understand what you stand for. Because then the only way you'd be able to drive people into the direction that you want or the direction you feel is the right direction. It's for them to understand. And um, basically creating spaces, creating spaces where not only you, so that sometimes it's not only in Elmo and I'm uh, issue a democracy, I'm a human rights. So it's creating a space that other people can be able to, to come also express themselves. And then it's very easy to pull and if you don't avoid to use your word collaboration, believe that to me now. Yeah, like in, as in that creating that diversity in a yeah. space whereby people know, yeah, because not everyone, okay, Mziki Kidogo, but not everyone understand what visual, like visual, like understands yeah. uh, graffiti, for example. Mm. So, you know, not mm. everyone at a Kachini and the Kusemanda watch one hour. 30 minutes movie. Mm. There are people who are saying, Mimi, if you 10 minutes, inshallah. So it's seeing how you create that space where pe people know that um, I can be able to interact with different forms and then it's easier to have a conversation with people with different kind of variety. Yeah. Yeah. Nicholas, for you. Thank you. If I go to your, yes, if I go mm. to a question, right. Um, with what we do as uh, an organization in the cost is uh, we are able to combine participatory educative theater, uh, visual arts, that is graffiti, installation, and dialogue in uh, one context, where we bring about uh, much stakeholders, the national government, the county government, uh, the private sector, the community leaders, the religious leaders, one context, and also young people as uh, uh, the most misused society, the vulnerable, especially in the context like the work we are doing under what you to program uh, supported by Forum Civ in Kuala County, um, we do what we call my stakeholder dialogue graffiti installation setup, where we combine participatory educative theater to provoke dialogue with the communities and also uh, the government officials. And from that particular dialogue session, the recommendations and the way forward is what is installed in the walls as graffiti. And this way, it's not only the graffiti artists that participate in, uh, in doing the painting, but also much stakeholders. And this um, uh, adds value to the aspect of ownership, you know, and they are able to understand that the kind of information you're putting here, this is what it means, and this is what we have collectively agreed on in terms of commitment. And to further the process is that everyone participates in uh, 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 doing um, a thumbs, you know, uh, a prints on that wall. Uh, 
So uh, this has been very uh, uh, influential in processes in, in Kuala County, in influencing uh, young people to take decision uh, roles, especially the Nyumbakumi setup, where uh, these are setups and committees that are only meant for the old people. But now you see the, the older also able to understand what is very critical and important to have their sons and daughters into the conversation. We're talking about peace and security in the communities, young people who are highly involved in the process. So having them decision-making table gives effectiveness and efficiency in terms of the decision made in the long run. That's why I've been able to have uh, uh, registered, you know, uh, milestones in that area and having uh, uh, national government officials coming down to the ground. There's no protocol anymore that we need to have an appointment to see a county commission or DCC. Young people could easily go into and address. Another very important aspect is we've been able to uh, contextualize and simplify uh, policy documents uh, like the county, uh, 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 county action plan on preventing counterfeit extremism. We'll be able to you. To, to simplify it in the language well known through arts. And now people in the community are able to understand their work, what value they are adding in terms of Mamboga Pale Mtaani, Gilokidana Nafanya Art Pale, what value are they adding into the conversation to the main county action plan preventing and counterfeit extremism? Yes. Yeah, very good. You are doing a great job at the cost for you. Yeah. I think uh, immersing, immersing myself in the community and working in solidarity with those who are severely oppressed in the community. Um, and so, for example, I work with uh, a group called Mnetihuru. Mnetihuru, Mnetihuru, uh, it's a movement, a movement that... Uh, works towards reintegration of recently released um, prison inmates and, and and now from there you know because you sometimes it's not just it's not just reintegration but also getting the community to also accept them and also have some young people visit these prisons to see how life there is yeah. and then now from there, like when I work with them, sometimes we go to committee, sometimes we, sometimes we, uh, we just have a chat amongst ourselves. Now from there, the conversation becomes um, the rights of those who are living, the rights, and really, not even the right, I don't, don't want to use that, that word, but uh, how should someone who has just been released from prison, like why, why should they suffer that much? And now putting that out, and also prisoners' rights. Those who are in prison actually suffer a lot. If you, if you do your research and uh, ask around and read about some of the conditions that prisoners live in, they're really, really um, terrible, terrible. Um, but then now that also lends itself to another approach, which is political education. Because people also have to understand why they suffer. Why do people suffer this side of Kawangware and then they are joining community which is Lovington? People are why 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 do we have all of those disparities? Yeah. The problems um, that capitalism, um, of course, which also is introduced by colonialism. Yeah, so so it's 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 one of these things that people have to understand why they are suffering. Yeah. And even as an artist, you also have to educate yourself. Just by speaking to people, they'll tell you, this is what we go through, this is what this, and then from there you can piece together some things and write a song and, and that, that kind of thing. Yeah. So um, I, guess, I guess those political education and, and, and working, with, working with and massing yourself with those people who really bear the brunt of oppression in the communities that you yeah. come from. Yeah. yeah, and I think that is... It's very deep, like, you know, you put yourself, you know, in their shoes and you, you know, humanizing what, whatever it is they are going through, even when they are inside there in prison, talking to them, working with them, and even letting people know that these people, it's just a person like me and you who has been in jail and now they're out here, accept them, it's not easy. So I think that is, you know, a very good approach that you are using just to make sure that uh, 
the community gets to learn about you as an artist, how you can help them as an artist, how you can come up with pieces talking about Vilejela Kuko. It's not a good place. And if you do some things, you'll end up there. So I think that is a is a very good practice. It's a very good approach, you know. Now, uh, let us look at um, some of the innovative public participation models that can be adapted to ensure that the communities fully participate in matters of governance because this is one of the rising challenges that came with devolution. We were not used to issues of hey, to end up public participation. Where I come from, I hear MCAs pay their people one end of public participation. So what are some of the creative models that we can come up with as creatives who work within uh, your different communities to make sure that the public goes for those public participation meetings, they say what they want, and then it is implemented also. How to follow up like that as a creative? What models? Yoneza pendekeza ama umekuo kitumia ama pengine whatever organization you come from what are some of these creative models you know of making sure that the community takes part in that public participation forum and wanaeleza uko mambo yao and their issues are heard and whatever problems it is they had are solved i mean even yeah the forums the fora uh, and even beyond um, the fora just you know the engagement of people i mean certainly many kenyans uh, are just for them it's just bread and butter issues mm. how do i put food on the table mambo ya sijui walifanya politicians like ni kama haiwahusu sikio wala ndewe but the thing is i mean politics will influence yote ukiwa wapi whether or not you ignore it whether or not you you, you pay attention to it it will still affect you in some way sure so that therefore means you have to go to where the people are kama ni sokoni pale watu wanafanya kazi unaenda huko unaengage watu na people need to see themselves in the system people when kama venye umesema umesema like mimi kama msanii nikifanya niki nikisaidiani niki kupeperusha yale shida yenye hao watu wenye umetolewa jela na pitia like mm. i should also place myself like e system inani e kiatu inanifinya wapi mm-hmm. like mimi mimi nafinya wapi niko kwa niko wapi kwa hiki kiatu naona huyu yuko hapo sawa amesema story yake na mimi niko wapi mm. relationship yetu iko wapi yeah. so that means that each of us have we have to we have to identify where we are we have to situate ourselves not only as artists but ukiwa hoka ukiwa nani ukiwa ukiwa mtu mwenye anafanya kazi sokoni ukiwa mtu mwenye anafanya hospitali kitu kama hiyo so from there you have to create these connections huyu hoka ona huyu msanii ana ume hivi huyu msanii one venye ujama mwenye pengine anafanya pengine ni mfuasi wa MP anaumiaje anapewa 200 atulie kidogo anapewa 200 siku nyingine so once we see where we are where we are in this system now that that kind of gives us some sort of impetus to 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 work collaboratively and move forward yeah All right okay thank you um talking about uh, creative uh, models that could be used to mobilize and rally communities mm. what i would like to say that uh, um, it's very important to acknowledge the Kenyan constitution you have a whole chapter on sovereign power of the people of Kenya supremacy of the constitution whereby you have the power as young people this includes the entire community it's for us to make decisions mm. and uh, uh, by so doing i want to say also uh, chapter 4 the bill of rights also gives us an opportunity to interact the best way to see what we want to see happen in our community so i would like to recommend uh, one uh, apart from the rice based approach that is always, all, always there because our communities in Kenya uh, tuliweza kuwekwa katika uh, corner ya ku embrace relief from approach kuletewa kina UNICEF akutuletea misahada elimu ni ya bure misahada so even our young people wa inherit kwa wazazi so it's now that we have we have started unpacking 
you know, the means that going for a bursary, this is your right. Si msaada, mbunga kijenga shule pale, hata itadi kupigiwa makofi kwa sababu wametumia hela yetu. Nisi tupigiwa makofi kwa kulipa ushuru. Nailewa? Yeah. So in, you see, these things, what would I embrace? Mm. But akidana na lamika, ah, mi bana nimeenda ku apply bursary ni menye mwa bana, wala wanapia na wenye kwa nyeo ni haki yao. You know, trying to unpack that. That actually, this is your money, it's your right. Mm. And you have all the right to access this. Unailewa? So, um, uh, you have also a right to know how much money to mepe wana ni ngapi ime kwa utilized. Unaona? So, with this, I would like to recommend a uh, 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 human-centered approach. Uh, this speaks and resonates to the community for them to understand that ni maswala yao, talking to their hearts. And again, also recommend uh, the right way forward uh, uh, model that is supported by Forum Civ. Uh, this is very important and critical in a way that communities are given opportunities to net with their own problems and challenges pale machinani. For them to fill the gaps, it's more of doing an assessment. Tukona barabara, barabara ni gani? Inausika nani, ni nani right, uh, uh, ni nani office uh, duty bearer, enye i barabara ina muhusu. Is it for Kenha? Is it county government ni nani? For community to understand, as people are going to make noise to do proactive engagement, or taking advantage of Article 37 of the Constitution, to write memorandum of petition, they can be doing factual information and directing the petitions and the memorandum to the right office. You have seen situation people are doing activism, making noise. Hey, hey, pisa si mwakwa pale barabaretu ni mbovu, wanapeleka mashitaka kwa MP. Na kumbe barabara fai undo na kena. Nelewa? Wanapeleka flight kwa county government. Na kumbe barabara fai undo national government. So, you have wasted young people. They have mobilized themselves, wame together pieces, wame fanya maandamano, wame enda kwa governor. Kumbe barabara fai kudwa na governor. Nelewa? So, this, this approach helps people to understand actually what gaps do we have in our community? What resources do we need? What do we have available? Who should we face? Na ni nani anausika kamilifu? Nelewa? So, this way now, it is advocacy with the entire community. And it's very interesting because you're also able to apply the creativity and artistic value in it to also have the community participate in role plays for them to critically and also be able to understand the component very well so that they can be there to push the agenda on their own. You won't be needed there to follow through. It's the community themselves. When it comes to presentation, mama mboga, kibandani, no amenuka na hoja. Uh -huh. Anasema napata shida kuenda kongoea kufuka bar... Time to comment that we take and start making you so that you can have a directed way of yeah. doing advocacy in the long run. Yeah. And apart from that, yeah. it's also um, also talking about kujenga nani nyumba. Tujenga ndani before tukutoke uko inje. Mm -hmm. Tukutoke uko inje kama tuko broke ndani, tukianza kuenda uko inje, tunanda kutupiwa mawe, tunambiwa, nimu natuwamia nini na uko kwenu kwenye kuna? You're getting me? Mm -hmm. So it's good also to create safe spaces for young people. Yeah. Incubation spaces, vijana wanze ku understand. Watu wachambue katiba from chapter 1 to 18. Waelewe in and out. Kijana kiambia wewe, it's my right, haki yetu, haki yetu, haki yetu, haki yetu, wewe haki yako ni gani? Ninge ila ndrova. Mm. Ana ni nakujibu, najua si mimi ngoja tuite songora. Songora, <laughs> songora tunashikwa. Unaelewa? Mm. So it's very important that artists also understand the laws in this country. Yeah. Wajua haki yao inaishia wapi. Mm. Haki yake, if I could infringe mtu mwingine. That way if you go out there to fanya maandamano, everyone there, it will be very, very difficult for even police to come and, and, and stop the maandamano. Because yeah. everyone anamfikia, anamwelezi haki yake. Mm -hmm. And we are here, this is our right. What you need to do for us is to see the now to lend. So if the police comes, it's very difficult for them to attack or divide you at the center. So sometimes we fail in this. That it's very wrong. We need then to devolve yeah. the processes. Then it becomes, yes. it's the same people over and over again, and you lose credibility also. You have nailed it. Yeah. For you, Nelmo? Yeah. For me, I just think it's normalizing these things. Uh, 
for me for the longest time uh mimi na nasema ni kwa pande zote mbili to a certain extent but when zote mbili i don't mean side ya politician na nani ya uh i do music for commercial purposes i do music for social change why because i i realized that we can we can sing as much as we want we can sing skilla siku tunaza to song ya social change but if you're not able to resonate with the people you're talking to utaongea siku zote so normalizing this conversation because ni mara ngapi umeambia kijana eh what is your view on bbi anakwambia mimi mambo ya siasa you understand because why they feel bbi ni politicians eh ni politicians yeah. wanafaa bonge huko mm. si tuletewe tuleto siku ya referendum tukapige mm. kura you understand yeah. so normalizing the conversation na kuonesha like it's it's not a conversation for activist the reason i don't call myself an activist because i'm an artist uh, even the first song i did on activism i didn't know what is activism i knew i'm an artist i'm just talking about issue kwa community yangu mm. you get because even an act, act, activist is just, just an active citizen if you don't understand a few things you understand mm. so normalizing if you don't making sure that everyone understands i have i have friends well, like for example if you talk to someone let me say like from europe mtu atakwambia ah this guy he, why should he drive a big car and it's my taxes and you understand mm. like and i understand mimi ndo na mikumsi minimum mpia job mm. but leo kienda kwa community yetu leo ata si mp ama governor mm. mca eh hey, anakwambia mheshimiwa uh, mheshimiwa unajua mheshimiwa ufai uongeleshe mheshimiwa ufai uliza maswali mheshimiwa because mm-hmm. why they just feel uh, for us we just like atuna say mm. so normalizing this conversation and people understanding that you can have any conversation you want and you don't have to be in such a forum to, for you to talk about it Uh, kesho itakuwa ni will pola kona show pale and it's normal for us to talk about politics on that platform mm. i love what south solar doing talking about it's not all about singing uh, sweet love and you, you understand it's also talking about some of these these issues because yeah. why that is the role of an artist mm. you don't have to sing about it for you to because you know nomadi song up on aimba about these vitu zote but i is when you to visual the mangele time mingine yeah you're singing every day but you don't stand like you mm. don't stand for what you sing about mm-hmm. so it's about you may decide even to sing about love every day sometimes if you look for artists who have made even more impact to a certain extent they don't sing they don't call themselves activists or activist they are artists and they are able to influence look what yeah. was happening in nigeria mm. akina davido akina yeah. nani going on the streets Nelsons. and talking mm. with the people you understand yeah. so for me I say it's more about the influence than mm. just singing about it. Yeah, so sure. let's normalize the conversation and then it's easier for us to be able to uh, have any change. Thank you. Valentine, as uh, the audience, you can start preparing your questions. We are going to take a few questions from the audience, then we are going to wind up. So as part of the <clears throat> the organization that I represent known as Wibo without borders we utilize um, the the power of um, the power of a survey you know the power of finding out right from the horse's mouth what is affecting you because i can go to the ground and decide that from my perspective this mm. is what you should do and this is what is affecting you so by um, undertaking um, a survey that being the the first step we are able to understand what um this community needs or what this particular um group of people need and what they are looking for in terms of the intervention mm-hmm. and from that moment we can be able to guide them on finding their own context on yeah. finding their own solution and on um undertaking their own intervention so that they can be able to sort out their challenges as well mm-hmm. instead of now having the approach of telling them this is where to go mm-hmm. or telling them this is what they should do um we we try to sort of tailor make the 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 solution or the intervention with their full participation and of, of course that is informed by also political education you know how do policies influence the current situation and therefore how can we now build on those policies even if it's just putting in our small voice and this of course has to be accompanied by 
um, trying to pull in stakeholders, various stakeholders into the conversation, being um, from the government end of things or from the private sector. We try to see how we can collaborate from both ends so that we can now um, find a context that is suitable for this particular community and suitable for their solutions. Um, of course, art plays a big role in that and we incorporate creatives, of course, in the process of uh, content creation that goes hand in hand with the intervention. Thank you. Shiki? You know, sometimes people don't, not everyone sees the necessity of public participation. Because when you go to someone and you tell them, oh, so these people are organizing this thing and everyone is invited, please go and talk about your issues. They feel like unawasumbua. They feel like you're inconveniencing them. Yeah, You go to Mamanozamboga or a tailor or a cobbler, you're removing them from kitu in our, in our leisure, right? That's their daily bread. That's where they, they get their rent, their food. And you tell them, okay, so this amount of hours, we want you to go to this space and talk about your issues. And they feel like, okay, I'll go and talk and it's going to be the same, same thing that is going to happen. Like, I'm not going to see any change. Ni marangapi to meongea. Ni marangapi to, 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 mekuza wakasema, oh, they will do something, but they don't do it. Ni marangapi mekuza wakatu wamba kura, and then they ended up not doing anything. But the beautiful thing about public participation is, it, you, you get to voice your own frustrations. You get to voice what is happening to you. Mm -hmm. And you also get to realize that it doesn't take one day to change the mess that is happening. Mm -hmm. You have to keep on doing it. You yeah. have to keep on saying what is happening too. There's no concrete specific way of keeping our leaders accountable. You can't really say this is the method where we're going to say, okay, so this is how we're going to keep our leaders accountable. Mm -hmm. And part of public participation, what it does, we're able to be in a space with stakeholders and ask them, okay, so this is it. What, has, what is happening? Why are you not able to? You promised us this. Or this is what is happening. As the leaders, we expect that this and this is, you know, like why, why isn't there any sort of um, flow communication between you guys and us on the ground? And the fact that as creatives or as artists, we can come into that space. Sometimes, yes, we can be used to influence, but also to diffuse the situation. Sometimes there's so much negative energy in that space. We can be able to... to to break the silence, we can be able to motivate people to speak if they feel like, hey, I'm in a space where kuna mkubwa, neza sema kitu neza mkasirisha staki kuingiandani, you know. Just to be able to feel like they're in a space where they're safe, they can be able to talk about their issues and they will be heard. Because sometimes you can be in a space where you're talking and you feel like this person is not paying attention to me. This person doesn't really care about my welfare, about what is really going on on the ground. So, um, um, just to just to make them realize that this space is actually meant for you. This space is meant for you to be able to fully participate in what is happening to your community. I feel is is very important. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for your inputs. And on Twitter, I see uh, Willie Oeba is saying, "Let us normalize the the conversation." Then uh, Bob Fadili, you're saying it is important for artists to understand that the uh, the law and also its limitations. All right, so we are going to take questions from the audience. Do we have any questions? Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Kennedy. Uh, and I think I'll start off with something like an observation before I ask my question. Uh, I have interest in, in matters of governance and leadership. And I think so I interact a lot with especially the youths. And from my experience, I think as a society, we are cultured. We are cultured and raised to be corrupt. From a very tender age, ask yourself, there was something called table manners. Nambi ukewa na chakula kwa mdomo usionge. What do politicians do today? Ukipiga kelele, ule jamando wanapiga kelele, unamchukua, unampea kakitu. Akona chakula kwa mdomo, hata ongea. That is a fact. Hawa watu wa mkuru wanapiga kelele, unaona ka, 
watu wanaletwa NYS wanasafisha kidogo inaisha hivi Another thing you see we when as kids you find someone doesn't want to go to school anaitwa ah mama unataka nini ah, lazima unipe kitu fulani ndio ndio niende shule that is blackmail and as a parent you fall into that this person grows up and then he ends up in an over politicized society like Kenya where everything has sides and everything is over politicized this person grows up in a very criminal society where there are cartels and everything everywhere so this person is looking at how he was raised to blackmail even the parents and he successfully did that what does this person do this person is just waiting for an opportunity and that's why most people have a have a have a side chat they'll tell you okay corruption is bad but nikipata hiyo chance that's what all of us say so those are some of the circumstances under we have under which you've grown up so like for example on the issue of the artists personally uh from my experience and what i know is that life is about interests and those interests are based on collective biases how do politicians beat us politicians have identified one bias what is their bias their welfare and for that they will never listen that's the only time that junet mohammed will go against raila if he wants to 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 oppose something that affects their welfare look at the issue of women the issue of gender became a global crisis only next to terrorism because the women decided this is our issue and when it came comes to women i usually tell people i meet some of them and i tell them you see, I, i usually tell people when women are pursuing the gender the gender issue they act like they don't have fathers like they don't have brothers because that's their collective bias my interest is in youth empowerment i ask the youth what is your collective bias they don't the same thing i as artists yes you are when in sani what is that one thing you want what's your collective bias at artist you look at i follow political issues i listen to what professor j says in parliament in tanzania versus what jagwa says and i don't want to go into that so at the end of the day there are issues like the local content bill and stuff like that which artist has ever stood up to speak about as increasing the local content I listen to I come from Busia so sometimes I listen to to radio stations in Uganda you go to TZ you go to clubs in TZ you may never listen hear even one single Kenyan song what are we doing about it Tanzania Nigeria there's a time calligraph offered to to sponsor radio presenters in Kenya to Nigeria so that they can find out if any of those artists knows them there was that war and stuff like that the same thing artists have been degraded have allowed themselves to be degraded to a point where the government wakes up and says our jamani ma vulnerable wacha tuwapatia 100 million ya covid ukweli and even civil servants have grades so hata kabonas kakitokea they are graded but hawa ni watu wajiwezi and then there were some conversations watu wanasema hiyo iko sawa kuna watu walikuwa wanapata 2500 so i'm like okay sani for 10 years you getting that's the level of degradation that artists have allowed themselves to do they stand up i talked of collective biases as a person i may have an idea but nikikuja kwa ziki eh tutaenda pamoja our interest is the same so then what i wanted to ask all that said and done i'm glad you're here and as a director of prisc you know there have always been issues on cmos and stuff like that was every day uh personally i don't understand what is going on so i will be interested in having you trying to tell me how, what what you guys are trying to do to uplift the well-being of the artists thank you for that question maybe if there is another one yeah then we are going to answer them yes my name is uh no boy i'm an artist i'm a photographer and I'm also a graphic designer. <laughs> uh, my, uh, I have uh, some ob observation and uh, it's, quite, it's quite interesting because Ziki was uh, a director in one of the CMOs and uh, it happens that 
in your i think it is in your cmos that you guys offer even insurances to artists and i would i would like to know which artists have have, have have received the insurances because i've seen uh, even bigger artists getting an in an, an accident and they come to the members of the public uh to ask to ask for uh for help uh, for example uh there's a uh, there's this guy zero sufuri who got an accident i think he's your he's a member of uh of CMOs. Another question is, uh, you, you, you are an artist, you are an, an activist, and uh, you see embezzlement in, in, of funds in an organization that you are a director in, and uh, you keep quiet about it. And there are artists that are looking, uh, are looking up to you. Do you think, do you think that is fair uh, for artists? Because for me, me, I've been an, I've been an an activist from from so long i've been an hip-hop artist for almost 11 years i was telling uh, Oaga uh, outside there that i was uh, i was an artist an hip-hop artist for for 10 years my life has been threatened several times even uh, on on i think it was like three months ago when i was fighting for some artist in kisumu who were being underpaid uh for for performing for the governor and imagine my governor uh, my governor is, governor's daughter is one of the biggest artists in the world, and uh, and artists there are, are are being paid peanuts. Artists there are not even given information. Even the CMOs are not giving artists information so that they can uh, they can they, uh, maybe, maybe they can build up on themselves. So uh, what are what are what is Prisk doing in uh, encouraging the artists? And uh, making sure that they get the information because I, I, I in Kisumu I had a, a small shop and we pay we pay for we pay for royalties. Uh, but for me, me, I'm not a member of any CMO because of uh, the things that are happening in, in MCSK. And I said that I will not be a member of any CMO because of the embezzlement of funds. And when I came to Nairobi and started rebranding as Luo Boy. I, 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 I found out that it was important for me to register and become a member of CMO. I'm, I'm, I'm an activist, and I think So when you see me on streets, manze, support, manze, we need to change. We need to change this country. We need to change this as an artist. We need, we need, we need guys like. Uh, like Monaja to, to, to speak on these things here, yeah, Nona. So Nona Matis Twengi Roundi, they don't even speak about things that are happening in in the societies. Mm. Like for example, uh, me I, I live in Kawangware right now. And in Kawangware, Stima Iliko Mapotea, meaning because Miketoka Kisumu like I for one week Nikirudimta na pata stime me poteapo for one week manze. Na wase wase wa minyamaza tu and like nilikuwa nauliza wa se ba na hi area yote then i went to twitter then i started tweeting about if if, if you go to my twitter you'll see see me tweeting about kplc and i i, I tweeted i tweeted i tweeted and they called me and waka tengeneza steamer so it's it's upon us to be our say when you are compatible for society at manze we need to change man. No, okay no. thanks man. thank you low boy one last one, please, because of time, we need to yeah, wind up. Could, uh, I was wondering whether the ladies also have some issues. Yeah, the ladies. They seem to be very satisfied. They are very comfortable. There was an accountability question to Prisk. Ladies sing, don't they? No question from the ladies. Apia was a little bit as a Prisk. Apia, Nani Nelmo, and Ataka Swali, Mr. Songora, and Ataka Swali, Kamenchi Wapo. We have one last one here. I think yeah. uh, the ladies, maybe their questions have been answered. Okay, thanks, Anna. So, there's a mix because it's going to be fluent. It was Anna. Mix. Ah, thanks. Because, uh... So, I'm going to ask you, Kidesi, Natoka Mkuru Kwanjenga, an artist, photographer, and a badona saw me a videography. So, before you end the learning, I'm going to ask you, thanks, my, my role model, Nelly Moapo. I mean, it offer. I was doing music, but it's going to be on a funny So, Niliona, things na funny cup. Kuru ni kamwa ku change, but Nigependa Saku, Gelea was a name. 
anelmo ningependa if you can wendo sasa unaenda ku to guide cause wewe unatoka mtaa si ndio for long mkuru wasanii wamekuwa hakuna unity cause kila mse anataka ku succeed kivi yake so kuja kuwa na unity and at the same time tukianza kuongelea music music ni biz mcheke and for us tumeanza music 2017 with maji anaka hapa and for long tumekuwa na shida na watu wa ngoma cause some of our watch time data zina zinapungua kila day na tunaambiwa watch time yako ya date fifth imepotea unacheki so tulienda kuwauliza nothing they did about it all tuambia they are going to return our watch time cuz wao hazitamba now so we had to open another youtube channel no no which is doing best than you keep your and you tulifungua 2017 no tushafikisha watch time na account ni this year yet account tulifungua 2017 wo time yake ni 40k minutes unaona so we as artists tumekuja ku realize tumekuwa tukidhulumiwa sana and you guys mmekuwa like nel mume kwa msanii tumeku mimi nimegrow nikikuona weka msanii unaona for long nimekuwa bado nikienda stay na nirudisha kwa path through whatsapp group so ningependa to address about that na tunaenda ku appreciate sana Thanks. Asante sana. Uh, that is a valid question, a valid concern. So maybe we can answer the questions on Prisk, then Nelmo and Mongela will respond. Yeah. And then we wind up. So maswali mawili kuhusu Prisk. Um na nimeulizwa pia yangu in an individual capacity. What am I doing as an activist? So as I was coming up here I spoke to Estelle and she, she asked me a question should I introduce you as being part of the press board I said yes um I am on paper but coming to the middle of this year sometime in June I was removed from board business because I um I raised alarm with regards to some issues that were taking place and i sought support from the from the body which regulates cmos i did not get that support and what ended up was um that the a resolution was moved by the rest of the board members to have me removed from board business however it was um unprocedural because um i was elected by members of the of the said organization and therefore according to the companies act they are the ones who have the mandate to remove me so yes on paper i am still there but um practically i have not been work, been involved in the board business because i um i did some documents that i submitted to dci and various other government agencies to do with the irregular, irregularities that i that i and some part let me say a section of the board um came about so i raised the alarm and uh it didn't work out well because it is a political system even within the arts it is still a political system that is at work and where you imagine that you can come in um and um effect change you will still find there's a lot of bureaucracy and you will still find a lot of opposition so with regards to that from a personal capacity and also from a capacity of uh, an elected leader i have tried to raise those issues and i I'll continue to steadfastly work towards um finding solutions um this year there was uh, an audit that was carried out by the regulator known as kekobo where they did also confirm that there is embezzlement there are irregularities there's so much that's going on now will action be taken i don't know i'm still waiting to see what they have said that for those persons or individuals within the organization who've been found to um, be participating in these irregularities 
should step down sijaona mmoja yet nimeraise alarm lakini mimi nimeambiwa step down sunona so hii ni si ni system so even as artists we we cannot escape the system we might be in our own cozy space where we are saying mimi na create mimi naandika mimi ni mse wa crew mimi ni mse wa hii lakini politics ni husu but in truth every area of our lives is affected by political um political um influences and we have a duty to ensure that we learn which um policies affect us and how political education can empower us for example hata kama nikitaka ku join organization ni sembe i am working towards empowering artists i am working towards ensuring that eh, wasani wanapata wanapata the assistance they need and their leaders wana wajibika you have to know which area um focuses on your particular craft and which policies affect you and which um forums should i be a part of to raise alarm uh, for cmos to be formed for um for the systems we think to be formed lazima kuwe na public participation pale kwa hii public participation wale watu nimewaiona eh, a few genuine artists attending and then kuna wale wamelipwa they are sponsored mm. waingie pale mm. and that becomes law you know yeah. and that is how uh, as a community we continue to fail and we continue to to drag behind and even in terms of um, issues such as welfare insurance imetajwa once upon a time there was such a thing for priest as an organization but that's no longer the case because the funding for that was not available ilikatika and trying to restart that also became a problem and again red tape mingi bureaucracy you face those challenges a whole lot when you're trying to say you know this needs to change um and this can can be done better and i would urge anyone who wants to be a member of those organizations do not come in to get bribed do not come in to try and seek your own selfish interest because these organizations are failing because the members are failing all right and it's the same issue where you find the the industry is not working in you know in in a in in, in one sort of direction there's no synergy in terms of the efforts huyu ana ana pigania political class yake maybe political class yake ni uh, wale wale artist prominent ana pigania yao huyu mwingine ana pigania yao instead of um galvanizing all of these efforts mm-hmm. to ensure that we move towards a particular direction mm-hmm. because if we don't sort out our own in-house issues there's no way we'll have a voice within the larger political space or within nationwide politics and within um the space where we can get to articulate our needs and influence um policies i'm not sure if i've answered the question kuna swali mbili there was a gentleman back there yes have i answered your question you understand yeah. the situation mm. yes so to sipo ata ata mwenye yuko yuko busia for example mm-hmm. yeah if we don't work harmoniously we will not get to that space kwa yeah. sababu red tape ni mingi na shida mm. nyingi absolutely and it's a very long process it takes a lot of time to see the change you want to see and whatever happened to you because you stood by the truth is what we should be ready to face even in those organizations it's not easy it's never easy no one said it is easy it is up to you to make that deliberate effort and decision to stand by the truth mongela very shortly and then nelmo then we wind up hello yeah yeah, yeah. um so the, the first question that was question observation talked about collective bias and uh, you know the thing is like it's true that certain i guess my problem with that premise is um, you find the basics everyone is affected by the basics whether you're a woman whether you're a man whether you're an accountant whether you're a doctor whether you're an artist the basics i need healthcare my child needs to go to school i need to put food on the table 
So when we say collective bias, you kind of segment and you say the youth fight for their thing. Um, the musicians fight for and forgetting that our interests overlap. Our interests overlap. This is not to say that they're certain that they are that they're not things that are particular to certain groups. They are. But I think we have to be very careful when we are looking at these issues because we might blame, we might end up blaming the victim. When you say that artists have allowed themselves to be degraded, I mean, there could be some grain of truth there, but the truth of the matter is <laughs> when the artists who, the bad low boy, like the artists who do that kind of music, some of the challenges they face, <laughs> you just find you just find themselves having to do things that they otherwise wouldn't have done. Um, I released a song that was more or less that was more or less criticizing some of the excesses that had gone on, some of the police brutality, police brutality around the time of a curfew, um, some of the harrowing stories that we had of yeah. you know women being raped, of mm. of 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 of, of, um, of course COVID millionaires. So like, <laughs> I'm releasing that song to the radio stations. Then one of the producers is like, yeah, so you need to me a soda. And you're like, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, mm -hmm. so I did not to me a do. But sometimes I get why artists would want to do that. Because me at least I sometimes have some alternatives. I am a research consultant. I mean, sometimes it's not a black and white issue. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that uh, I'm not saying that it's fine and we normalize things. But I think we really need to understand that what we are dealing with is a system of inequality mm. that pushes people to do certain things that they otherwise wouldn't have done. Yeah. So when you say that so and so has allowed themselves to be degraded, mm. I mean sasa atakula nini jioni? Naona atalipa rent na nini? Akifukuzwa. So I think we need to be a little bit careful to say um flani it's us who is the problem, it's the voters who are the problem. Yeah. I'm not denying the fact that any oppressed group of people needs to do some internal work yeah. for themselves. Mm -hmm. But we cannot overlook the systemic challenges that some of these people face. Yeah, because, Check. yeah, and I think that is what is causing structural violence, mm -hmm. where people who have energy, they want to work, but there are, there are no those opportunities to put their energy into whatever they're supposed to be doing. And they end up becoming criminals like what we saw in Nakuru, you know, killing themselves. And it gets to a point that now the community is even more endangered. Yeah. And, so, yeah. And the question we need to ask ourselves is what's the root cause yes. why a certain class of people is thriving? Absolutely. Um, so uh, that was all I wanted to say. Luo boy, nafaa kupatana, natoka ungwaru, nafanya kazi na wasani ungwaru, so tupatane after this. If I may add a quick one, just because um, I've remembered the question that was also posed there, or rather the statement where you said um, we artists don't talk about the content ratio. Um, the president actually did a directive in January where he said that the content, the local content ratio should increase. But who is he telling this to? Because this message should be going to the communications authority. Mm -hmm. I know for sure, for a fact, that there's so many artists who've sat during these forums and who've raised these issues, but they've gone and had. Mm -hmm. So we imagined that the president's directive would be mm -hmm. the go-to thing that would change, any, would change everything. And in addition to that, he also directed that media houses should start paying royalties. I can tell you for a fact that has not happened. That is a very huge struggle. And I'm talking about billions that should be going to artists. Yet who are the media moguls in this country? They also happen to be politicians. politicians. Yeah. So yeah, to round the same circle mm. for Isoshida. Mm. Yes, artists work on a role bigger than a Kucheza. But at a pali to me try kuna bado kizungum kuti. We have no control over everything. Yeah, so that's why Mutwa Kinyambiati Miss Pendi Siasa. But uh, maybe just 
the issue of unity. I think unity, it's not only Mukuru Kichwa Kwanza. Ni tumesikia. All the way. But uh, I think Vegetarian Sema, we can start na the Uko Chini Mali Tuko. So, um, Electron as a Sema, ni first of all, uh, it's finding a purpose. Like, why do you want to unite? Get. Because if tuko na purpose ya kuna kama tuna unite sisi wote tuomoke na hiyo itakuwa ngumu kila mtu anataka kuomoka unajua na itakuwa hard sasa tuta make even more enemies you get but if it's a purpose for example making sure that there is better organization in pushing for uh, artist rights then it becomes easier na i think the most important thing ni also get to understand you as an artist role yako ni gani because unajua Inaweza kwa ile kitu mimi nianza nianza kuimba unfortunately most artists uh, mostly let me male artist tukiwa wadogo tulikuwa tukiona kina JZ akina Jarul akina nani tulikuwa nataka kuwa kao eh, madem uh, do wana una, get like logically mostly for young guys wanting to get to music mm. those are some of the motivation you yeah. know but as you move and being part of that now nah, you see wrong uh, umesema yeah astray uh, uh, i don't think i think it was just a process of discovering yourself now nah, uli uko in a better place right now that's mm-hmm. why unasema ulitoka youtube channel uko mm-hmm. youtube channel nyingine so the most important thing is getting to understand you na do because unaweza kuona unataka kuimba gengeton sai gengeton ikianza it has few people Na, now everyone, everyone even the established artists mm-hmm. sindio no one major sai because ali, alijua na ndo kitu na drive nayo you understand mm-hmm. so the most important thing ni if if you just got gengeton you want to a million views uh, there are so many other artists who are in gengeton but they are not even getting that thousand views you get because then for them they are doing it because other people are doing it not because they really want to do it you get then that from there then when you're building up, first of all me I, I say you know you cannot change anyone if you haven't changed yourself you get it starts with a, with an individual mm. for us to be have that collective voice together thank so thank you very much yeah. thank you nelmo closing remarks from ne, uh, from songora and from shiki is it closing remarks yeah <laughs> very fast i just you want to add be, before I, I close remarks <laughs> uh, i am an art- activist i'm fighting for my right also yeah. i have to engage <laughs> it starts from here so mine is a uh, uh, just to give very practical examples for us to why access to formation is very important and critical uh, after your study here the young friend of mine the luo photographer mm. amenuka hapa akaongea kuhusiana na masuala ya risk uh, risk yeah? mm-hmm. mm. and uh, it was very clear that there was a gap in terms of information and again risk yuko kwa wako kwa committee but again information kama sasa hii ameuliza ndio inatoka information mingi people are like wa wow. so that is the case kumbe uli step down uli step ishwa down unaelewa so information is very important for us to solve these issues if at this level in a very small cycle mm. of young people activists tunakorogana tunapigana ngumi when will we rise and unite and fight uh, the dynasty yeah. lini will we win this battle hapana mm-hmm. if i see young people fighting at each other sometimes you are mobilized to fight against a young person in a certain committee rather than have constructive engagement do we have committees but which aguliwa wewe umekuwa pale kama secretary we will form a committee ya community you will be coming to us with particular information you get any challenges huko kwa committee you tell us we help advise you on how you are going to tackle it so by the time you get such such a challenge already you have people in the community who will speak of the problem and that will ev- even help support you with the other committee members and Benny Makatel so got to be lawana so this level you may be sacrificed but now you know as a lady unasukumwa you may be sacrificed na makosa sio yako just pointed wanted to be right katikati katikati ya makatel yeah so, so it's now one closing, thing close now yes yeah. i'm closing don't worry i'm closing <laughs> uh, the, the fact is as young people we need to start organizing yeah. and stop agonizing waiting for meetings kwanza kurushiana madongo is not helping let us meet before meetings we enter into a public meeting kuna gava we speak constructively yeah. there's one thing that iliniudhi sana history ya kukushon uh, wasani na covid 19 mm. i picked a conversation in mombasa we are here government wants to give us 100 million and look at safe spaces do we have any 
in Mombasa, for example, we have this, this beautiful space. If this could be devolved in other areas, we could be achieving the activism that we want to see. Nelewa. There's no way you can say there's equity in activism. Msani wa Nairobi and access music instruments. Msani wa kule korogocho access music instruments. Then we come and say activism. Activism. How will it happen? We need to start from advocating for infrastructure. Availability of resources that will build us toward this process. It's very easy for someone to access a music studio at the modernized context. But kule kijijini ya napatari music studio sangapi. By the time metuwa metuwa spoken word hapa ya kuwasha gava like my friend Willie Oeba eh, salute to him alipigia Mr. Deputy President yetakana by the time na kuwa pull down ya Deputy President mwengine metuwa yake huko korogocho mwengine Mombasa metuwa yengine mwengine metuwa yengine this will be achieved if we have infrastructure yeah. and it's high time we start having constructive engagement with government mm -hmm. it's all about money yu pesa mstupatie we want this money channel to infrastructure A, B, C ya wasani by then Kusinge kuwa, sayi kuna rift. Kuna wasani ye nyolo katika netuwa kizao. Mm. Out of the netesu, kuna wale wengine walipata hii pesa kusho ni nkisiri siri, wamenyamazia. Kuna wale ngeo walipata laki moja, mungine walipata 20,000, hameza kujuliza why am I given 20, ugo nae mpo 100,000. Already, tunaletiwa pesa, tunatusaidia, inazidi kutugawanya zaidi na zaidi na zaidi. But if we had form structure and said the government, sisi watu Nairobi sasa itaki yo pesa ya nakuja Nairobi, mutupatia tugawaje. Mm. We want this money. At this one level, yeah. we had on our priorities infrastructure issues. We want you to purchase A, B, C, D and bring it here. Corona Ikeisha, we will come and invest on these items. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, hakuta kuwa na mgawa nyiko. Inalewa. So yeah. these people are organizing on the other side to divide us and every day they're dividing us more and more and, and they more. Succeed. So we need to be very careful. Mm -hmm. We need to be very careful yeah. and be able to stand firm starting from internal structure. Let us go back to the drawing board as activists in this country and for, we shall make a change. Elections around the corner, Thank we will be more careful. Mm. Elections around the corner, we will be more careful. More division is coming. The few cartels, I will mention this again and again, unless we are able to do away oma tuafunge speed governor wale makatele ni wako huko, mgu moja uko huko, mgu moja uko huko. We will never win this battle. You have sure. to have a candid conversation and ensure we wipe our internal structures and movements. Thank Salam you very much. Shiki, as we close. I had once attended a, a workshop where we were being trained by some of the stakeholders in the creative scene. And it was a three-day training. And during the training, I ended up realizing that the people who are training us about um, art, um, Usani and how you can access maybe things like county funds and th things like that, didn't really know what the artists were going through. So there was a disconnect, right? These people are there. They have no idea. Like, they don't attend events. They don't know any artists. They have no idea of what is happening on the ground. And they're coming to talk to us about how to be artists. So this is just... I'm not saying this is the only solution that is there. There are so many things that we need to do. But one of the things I was thinking about is why can't we as artists reach a place where we, we get into these spaces? Can we, can we get into these organizations that uh, directly deal with the creative scene? Can we get into, even if it's in the government, now you end up being um, minister of whatever, minister of this, and it directly involves um, the creative scene. We need MPs who are artists or creatives that can be able to put up legislation that favors us because right now it's not really the case on the ground we need to be in spaces where we are able to say that we want to see this change and we are the ones who are enacting that change we're not waiting for people who are there to benefit from our hard work and we're not seeing the benefit of our work so for me because uh, to be honest yeah shelf life yeah I, I call it the shelf life shelf life yeah Mr. Nee on stage mm -hmm sometimes can be limited, limited. Not every one of us will get to perform on stage for the rest of our lives. Very few people get that chance. Now, when you reach that place where you feel like, okay, maybe my time on stage is over, it doesn't mean that your, your role as an artist is over. You can, I don't know, maybe go back to school. If you can, get a degree that will maybe put you in a space where you are still in the creative scene and you're still having an impact in the scene without necessarily being on stage. Being on stage is not everything, you know. Um, it's, not, it's not everything. And sometimes you get to realize that the people who are affecting how you're being paid, how people are looking at mm. you, how you're being treated, 
is the people who are in spaces that you as an artist you're supposed, supposed to be to, occupying yeah. yeah so just as um just just as a, a thought yeah if you can and if you're interested and if you feel like you know what i want to do and be part of the change sometimes being part of the change is being part of the system and yes the system is corrupt but it will take people who are you know like she couldn't do it alone what if there were like 20 people what let's say the board is made of 20 people mm. what if 15 out of the 20 people actually had good intentions yeah maybe that what that wouldn't have happened mm. to her but you sure. know she was there it seems like she was alone and that happened to her we need more people in spaces with good intentions and good hearts and who really want to see the betterment of the creative sector and the creative scene wow thank you very much a round of applause for our panelists Marco yeah thank you very much this has been a very engaging conversation i just want to thank you for keeping it real for keeping it very, you know, candid and just speaking from your heart. It means a lot huh, to creatives out there, to our communities out there who we are leading, who we are engaging in the social change process. So thank you very much. Keep on doing what you're doing because whatever you're doing, it will affect and affect even generations to come after you. And then to all of us as creatives, we must realize that issues of ownership, issues of transformation, issues of change, they are our issues as creatives. Nobody is going to come and help us and tell us, ah, tunaona mechoka sana, uh, you as a social uh, change agent, pumzika kwanza niendele hapo, hakuna, it is up to you to decide and desire to see change in your community. Hapo tu kwa community yako, start with right there. Then it will trickle down to the rest of the country, to the rest of the world. So thank you very much for keeping it forum CIV, Eastern and Southern Africa Hub on Facebook. Keep it right here. Tomorrow we are going to be having more panel discussions, other amazing performances from our spoken word artists, from musicians from across the country. So don't go away even on Twitter. Let us keep the conversation going. Hashtag democracy and human rights. That is what we are trending on. So keep it right here for much more engaging content. Thank you very much. I've been your moderator, Estelle Mwai.